You hear the same arguments all the time. They never change. Uh, cold moonlight, the Earth, uh, you can't measure the curve of the Earth. You can't measure rotation of the Earth. Um, you know, these are all just standard arguments from the script. And no amount of data or evidence will be satisfactory to the people that do it. You know, Flat Earth is a conspiracy theory. Well, conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. And conspiracy theories. Misinformation and conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. A conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. These conspiracy theories. Now, Flat Earth is a conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theories like those are everywhere these days. And what it did for me was it kind of, you know, when I first started doing this back in 2018, obviously I've got some education and I've taken physics and things like that. But if you asked me in 2018, 2017, how to actually physically demonstrate the rotation of the earth, I wouldn't have been able to give you a good way of doing it. And one of the things about flat earth is that I've actually looked into a lot of these things now. And I've learned how to do these things, and as a result, I'm currently an astrophysics astronomy major in a university, and I'm going to become a math and science teacher. Words I like to remember uh, is that the stronger wind, the stronger trees, and you're kind yep. of... I feel like this is kind of questioning things that you never really cared about before, but then all of a sudden no. you start looking into it, and even though we're on completely different sides of this argument, we're both finding ourselves a lot more interested in things that we never would have been interested in before, right? Well, yeah. I, I, I never, you know, I, I realized that the Earth was a globe at about age 10. Uh-huh. Um, because, and that's by my own demonstration. I, I used a pair of binoculars to look at a ship on the horizon. One of the things you can see yourself with a pair of binoculars. And I could see a curve, you know, a hump of water there. Is if you actually go out to a lake. Go to a seashore. And there are boats on that lake. The farther away a boat is, the more the bottom of the boat will disappear, and you'll basically just see the mast of the boat. And as a boat goes farther and farther away, the last thing you will see is the very top of the mast of that boat. And that's because the boat is actually going over the horizon that's curved. If you send a ship straight to the horizon, right, eventually it begins to disappear until it's no longer visible beyond your horizon. Right. And you should ask yourself, what kind of surface would produce that result? And that means that as it goes farther and farther away, you see less and less of the bottom of it and more of the top of that. You can see that with binoculars, by an ocean, by a lake. It's really easy. That wouldn't happen if the Earth were flat. Seafarers knew this. Right. And so what, however flat they would have imagined the Earth to be, they, they, couldn't, have, they couldn't have accepted it to be completely flat, because otherwise you would never not see the ship. You would simply see the boat getting smaller and smaller and smaller as it went farther away, but you'd be able to see the whole thing with the same proportions. Um, you can see if you go up onto a, a, a tall tower or a hill, and you see more over the horizon. I mean, it was, and there was nothing I could do other than go higher to get rid of that hump of water and see the rest of the ship. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you hear the same arguments all the time. They never change. Um, you know, these are all just standard arguments from the script. This is called gravity. I guess the biggest difference between people that are in the flat earth and, and the rest of us is that we accept evidence and we can um, we can accept evidence that goes against what we believe. You know, here, here's a good example from my field. Uh, when I went to medical school, it was common knowledge that that women needed hormone replacement after a certain age. Uh -huh. and that it protected their hearts. So, this is Earth as we've been taught to think of it right. from childhood. About 2004 or so, they found that women that were on hormone replacement actually had a higher, higher incidence of blood clots and heart disease and stroke than those that were not. So I was, spent my whole life saying, Santa is the, Santa on the North Pole, would be the only person who would know his true weight. Right. Because on the equator, you're weighing less than your true weight. Right. True gravitational weight. Okay. Here's the deal. It turns out everywhere on the geode, mm -hmm. you weigh exactly the same. That just went in the face of everything that we all had been taught. And we stopped prescribing it right then. Because the evidence was so overwhelming uh -huh. that we, you know, we were simply wrong. We acknowledge that we were wrong based on the evidence. Flat earthers cannot do that. You don't uh, think flat earthers can do that?
uh, they are incapable of accepting evidence that goes against their beliefs. All right, so this is confessions of a flat earther. You know, none of us wanted to be a flat earther, I'm telling you right now. Nobody really wanted this to be true. Wow. Not easy, you know. You know the first time you hear about it, you're, you laugh, right? Oh, boy, that's stupid. Especially for me, you know, I've got two master's degrees. I, took, I was an astronomy major starting off in college. Took calculus one, calculus two, calculus three, differential equations, you know. But, you know, you go through life and you believe the earth is spinning and going around the sun and it seems pretty basic, right? And then somebody challenges you. I remember that I got challenged, right? Flat earthers cannot do that. Uh, they are incapable of accepting evidence that goes against their beliefs. You go through life and you believe the earth is spinning and going around the sun and it seems pretty basic, right? And then somebody challenges you. I remember that I got challenged, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory. People believe in conspiracy theories because they have reason to believe in them. You know, they want to believe in them. Because it makes sense to them. It brings sense to things that they have that they don't they don't get. And it gives them a sense of special knowledge and it gives them a sense of community. Okay. And they need that sense of community and they need to feel that they have special knowledge or they're unique. But I don't have a I don't have a particular desire to show somebody that I have special knowledge that nobody else does. That wasn't your whole doctorate right there. Putting mm -hmm. that on your wall, your whole doctorate there. Putting that on your wall. I've got special knowledge about uh, about human physiology. Yep. You're free to listen to me. Come no, I have in. specific training for it. Yeah, I have specific training for it, which is and special knowledge. <clears throat> yeah. Let's observe. Let's think. Let's discuss. Gone into universities as bright young people. They come out of them brain dead, not even knowing what science means. Check this out, you ready? Okay. If Earth spins faster, Earth won't keep its spherical shape. It will become a pancake. We yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so so we think of Earth as solid, but it really isn't. Right. Okay? There's plasticity in the mantle, right. there's rocks, they'll just start floating. Okay? So the Earth will start flattening. As it flattens, the equator gets wider and wider and wider. So there you go, flat earthers. <laughs> <laughs>